Humanitarian aid bridge built by four used to soldiers is now complete and anchored on the Gaza Strip. Food and other critically needed supplies could begin flowing soon. Mike Gooding has more. Relief is now one big step closer to reality. After weeks of preparation, security planning and weather delays, the U.S. military finished installing a floating pier to the beach in Gaza on Thursday. U.S. Central Command in a release emphasized no U.S. troops entered Gaza. The Joint Logistics Over the Shore Humanitarian Aid Corridor is now in place and will begin funneling hundreds of tons of supplies to civilians in the region in the coming days. The purpose of this temporary pier is to deliver critical humanitarian assistance to the Palestinian people. The plan is to get the aid to Gaza's 2.2 million people following seven months of intense fighting in the Israel-Hamas war. President Biden ordered the Defense Department to deploy the JLOT's capability back in March. Soldiers from the Fort Eustis-based 7th Transportation Brigade answered the call. The Pentagon says about 1,000 U.S. soldiers and sailors were instrumental in delivering and building the structure. Security remains a top concern. To emphasize again, this is a mission to get humanitarian aid into Gaza, and an attack on those dedicated to this mission would jeopardize the life-saving aid needed for the Palestinian people. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. There are two U.S. Navy warships nearby in the eastern Mediterranean Sea, the guided missile destroyers USS Arleigh Burke and USS Paul Ignatius are equipped with a wide range of weapons that will protect American troops offshore and allies on the beach. A United